Students and staff in our state are still preparing for a return to the classroom as COVID cases spread. Right now, there are more than 3,200 patients in hospitals with the virus. Almost 2,000 are in intensive care units and about 1,200 are now on ventilators. 70% of North Carolinians are now fully vaccinated. ECU students will start back Monday, but before they can do so, they need to be vaccinated or tested for COVID. News Channel 12 star Connor has been on campus all day talking to students and faculty about the precautions. She joins us now and star how many students were tested today. Well, Val, as of 2 p.m., around 100 students have participated in the testing. Now, there are still around 13,000 students who need to be tested before Monday comes and they return back to school. Oh, I'm, I feel good about the testing. Testing was pretty straightforward. Um, they've got a whole system set up, so you just walk right in, uh, give them your information that they need, and then you just... Uh, Swab you and go. Students I spoke with on campus had no complaints about the university's decision to test all students who live on campus and unvaccinated students who live off campus. Associate Dean with the Dean of Students Office, Lauren Thorne, says the goal is to keep students and faculty safe. We had a rush of students who were here and ready to move back in. And so um, we, I think we had about 100 or so that came through in the first 30 minutes. Uh, we anticipate that lines will remain steady. And so we just ask families prepare um, for a little bit of a wait, but it is a quick process. Uh, it's moving very quickly. Thorne says outside COVID tests will not be accepted, but she also knows even with the testing, the COVID cases will continue to rise. So we're anticipating a surge that's going to happen naturally whenever you bring thousands of students and, and individuals back together. Um, last fall, we were really successful in being able to work through that surge. Both students I spoke to say even with the extra protocol, they still are worried about the virus. I kind of wish they started off online for like a week or two. That way, just a little bit just gives us a little bit more time for symptoms to start showing up and whatnot since there are people that I personally know from out of the country or out of state. Me personally, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous coming back.